Oh my god, look at this. That is sick. That is actually sick. I love that this is this is the thing. I don't know how the ship is not getting sucked into this black hole. <laughs> and surely there'd be some sort of time dilation on the go. We've all watched Interstellar, right? And that's scientifically accurate. Yeah, right? Yep. Oh, what? Uh, I, what? <laughs> what is this? Emergency? Uh, I, th I think Meridia is gone. Where's Meridia? Initiating FTL jump to Super Earth. Super, what? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's been ages since the game's given me something like this. Okay, we're, oh, this might just be where you go because the planet's gone. Jump complete. Yeah. Okay. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a development. Um, Operation Enduring Peace. It is successful. The super colony, it, it's the been destroyed. <laughs> to initiate an emergency warp without your authorization in order to protect Super Earth's investment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, basically, the Terminid super colony is now destroyed. It says a beautiful black hole remains drawing, ev drawing in every Terminid spore in the system. Congratulations in order. The Helldivers have won a historic victory for managed democracy. Today, um, consult the galactic map on your ship for more information. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh my god, this is huge. This is actually huge. I didn't think we were going to complete this order. <laughs> Gravitational anomaly? Oh lord. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can we go there? I wonder if we can go there. The super colony has been destroyed. In its place, a beautiful black hole remains, drawing in every terminid spore within several billion kilometers. Interstellar spore levels have already sharply decreased in every system. The destruction of Meridia came not a moment too soon, while the terminids continue their rampant spread across the galaxy without the accelerating effect of the super colony. Containment is now once again possible. The Muradesh Research Facility has been decommissioned following the total exhaustion of all dark fluid stores. Oh, Maybe somebody can get us some more dark fluid, right? Hello, Illumina. <laughs> the tireless scientists who contributed to the Muradesh project have been awarded the Super Citizenship Medal of Freedom. <laughs> I wonder what kind of freedom that actually gives you. Uh, the front against the Terminators is stabilized, but the war is far from over. We must continue to fight to contain the Terminators and redirect our efforts to finally reclaim territory stolen by the automatons. Congratulations in order. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hologram major order subheader outcome success. <laughs> Still ain't fixed that. I want to see. Can we go there? No way. Uh, are we not going to get sucked into a black hole and die? That would be so funny. If that happens, I will wet myself. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Meridia is destroyed at last. Oh. The threat of the terminates is vastly diminished. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. That is sick. That is actually sick. I love that this is this is the thing. I don't know how the ship is not getting sucked into this black hole. <laughs> and surely there'd be some sort of time dilation on the go. We've all watched Interstellar, right? And that's scientifically accurate. Yeah, right? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is insane. What the hell? Oh, my Lord. We've got some other stuff to talk about anyway, guys. Let's get stuck into all of this. I do actually want to discuss this. Now, This you can't actually play this mission anymore. The planet is gone. Meridia is destroyed. But this mission was bugged, and this, again, sort of goes to that whole thing of Arrowhead being a bit unprepared. Like, they need to sort of, I don't know, I don't, I sound like a massive dickhead saying this, but get more professional. Like, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain this. Well, basically, they deployed the mission with the drills, with a massive spawn bug that any kind of testing within literally 10 seconds would have determined what is going on here, guys. The bugs are spawning on top of the drill. We need to fix this. And it is a little bit worrying because it's all pushed to live. The update goes out. Anyway, there was a hot fix, and this was for Saturday. So if you watch this video the day it went live, it was for the day before. Uh, and they fixed it, and they said fixed an issue causing enemies to spawn on the drill during the Operation Enduring Peace mission order. But what I'm going to do, and you guys have been seeing footage of this while I've been yapping for like a minute or whatever, where basically this mission, we completed it after the fixed to the spawns but still there was a way of cheesing it where you could drop the drills onto higher ground and then it would prevent a lot of the bugs on the ground actually getting towards the drill so it was cheesy it's not great there was also some tactics going around using smokes 
orbital smokes and eagle smokes could work to some degree uh, but i think you needed to take quite a lot of them um i don't think one player could hold down a drill with them but the fact is it was a super disappointing deployment of this mission but we've just been given an absolutely friggin awesome finale to this and it's like it, it's took the shine off it because i'm sure people would have come back oh my god this mission's whatever it's, we've done it it's great I, I know the mission was a bit you know it was on the map we've been on before and there wasn't really too much to it we were also hoping for things like the hive lord to show up because i mean it is a super colony you would have expected a hive lord to be there or multiple hive lords like bursting out of the ground that those big caverns in the map kind of made you think oh there's going to be like some insane finale here but then all that actually happened was an absolute ton of um the flying terminates came out of the hole and it was like uh, okay <laughs> but actually if you take the uh, any kind of machine gun it's it's super fun mowing them down and also i'll say this oh, it's kind of pointless because you can't play the mission anymore but if you do come across them again if you go prone on the ground they'll generally miss you uh, with the swooping attack so you can sort of almost prevent yourself getting hit by them but obviously all the other terminates will rush you while you're on the ground so you've got to be careful dive on the ground fire get up and all that stuff um, but yeah, it, it was a shame that it was bugged, but they did fix it. Ah, what can you say? Now, this has pissed me off to no end. I'm on holiday. <laughs> I'm on holiday the second week of June. The second week of June is when they're saying they're going to do an update. Now, there was another comment from Twinbeard, one of the other community managers, where he was basically saying, like, don't get too excited about the next patch. We're not too sure what he was referring to. We're not even sure if it's actually referring to this patch or what. But we've got this update here from uh, Baskinator, one of the other community managers. Uh, and this is what they say in regards to this patch everybody is anticipating, um, which is going to, like, in sort of quote-unquote, fix the game, or at least make the game more fun. Uh, and this is what's said. Greetings, Helldivers. We wanted to finally give you an idea of what's going on with our patch. First of all, our next patch is expected in the second week of June, because Stylos is on holiday and we hate him. <laughs> Second, we have also pushed out an emergency hotfix to address enemies spawning on the drill in the current major order. Well, of course, yeah, that, that's done, whatever. You are right, we've slowed down our cadence for patches, which I'll say, guys, is a good thing because clearly they can't deploy the patches in any kind of serviceable state at their current cadence, so they did have to slow down. It is frustrating because we, we need to, like, we're sitting here like, what's going on? But that's on the studio to communicate more what they're doing. So, yeah, and Baskinator is apologising for that in this post. Anyway... In an upcoming blog, uh, but the short version is that dedicating more time to each patch will allow us to provide a higher quality standard and reduce the pressure on our teams at Arrowhead. The physical and mental health of the team is, a very, is very important to us and maintaining long-term sustainable workplace is crucial for our developers and staff to avoid putting anyone at risk of burnout. And that is, like, that is actually crucial, right? And the fact that that is written down there, it is saying, look, guys, we're not burning out our staff. Our staff have been burnt out. We even know... Um, the, the ex-CEO or the chief creative officer now, Johan, said that he'd mentally burnt out as well. He was doing way too much work. And you can see that in what's actually being added to the game. It looks like work made by people who are under stress, uh, they've got fatigue, and they're making mistakes. And this happens to anyone in any walk of life. So they do need to do this. But obviously, you know, there is that issue of you are losing momentum. And Helldivers is losing a bit of momentum. It has gone down um, concurrent player number-wise, although it is now spiking again given the black hole emergent, which is like super, super frigging cool live service like game. Just frigging amazing, guys. It's so good. Like, and Arrowhead have done a great job. But anyway, they go on to say this. Additionally, the cadence at which we were patching left us little time to engage with the community or build hell divers alongside our players in meaningful ways. I'm not entirely sure with this statement because I know community manager is not just simply, uh, like, you know, people will throw stuff around like, well, a community manager is just a glorified Reddit mod or a Discord mod, you know what I mean? But they, they do so much more than that. A, a lot of what community managers do, now, if there's any community managers watching this, they want to correct me, but I believe a lot of what they do is they compile community sentiment and then they sort of package that up in a way that can be disseminated very fast to the dev team so they can use that as good quality information to make decisions on what's going on with the game. And also... The community managers generally should, hopefully, identify big problems before they get out of control and then things can get fixed. You know, things like, you know, if certain things are broke, um, you know, mission types are broke. You would imagine community managers get wind of that first. So they, they do do a, a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know whether that's an excuse, though, to say that, yeah, we, we, we've been updating the game so much, we haven't been able to actually talk to you guys. I don't know. I think they just need to refine their systems, and I'm sure they are doing that. Anyway... 
This slower pace enables us to focus our energy more effectively, resulting in more impactful updates and more enjoyable game experience for everyone. You are also right that we should have communicated this change more clearly from the start. We sincerely thank you for your patience and support as we make this adjustment. What more can we say about that? You know, like, fair enough. We know a patch is coming. We've got a date for this patch. In terms of what we expect the patch to contain, we're expecting, like, literally wide range and changes here. We're expecting a ton of weapon balance updates to make the weapons fun and engaging and maybe even give some power level back to some of the weapons that have had their power stripped for strange reasons. Um, we're expecting stratagems to maybe get buffed. I would love to see things like we're removing the negative modifiers on missions, the AA stratagem, because that's not a very great way of increasing difficulty on a mission. Or even better, they say, hey, we're removing this, actually, but only if you destroy the anti-AA objective on the map. You know, in there's some sort of way, then you can select an additional stratagem or something. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of things they could do, but I think we've, I think we probably need to be not, you know, sort of hoping for the world. Just sit back and think, what does the game need right now? It needs more mission types. It needs more varied biomes and maps. It needs weapons that are actually functional. We know we're going to get the tenderizer looked at uh, from the last um, premium war bond, which is the whole debate about that. Premium weapons just being shit doesn't feel great. It's, or premium weapons getting nerfed after the fact, which is not great because you're spending currency on those weapons whether you've earned that in game or you've bought it with real money you're still spending currency on those weapons you'd expect them to give you a fun experience i'm not asking for overpowered weapons i'm not asking for pay to win but i'm asking for a fun you know a fun like the eruptor is a great example of it it was fun now it's trash nobody uses the eruptor um and it just doesn't feel great it's like a lot of those weapons are sort of left behind so we need fixes for that we also need to see what's in the next war bond you know will that be will they still be doing a war bond every month Vascinator also alluded to a blog post coming out and you know I will go over that when it drops but there's a ton of stuff I want you guys in the comments below to let me know or, or, or not you I guess yeah let me know let me let me know what you think that's what I'm trying to say about what the game needs right now like what are the critical issues with the game right now of course we've got things like patrol spawns are going to get fixed as well uh, a lot of people are asking for that to be a hot fix which maybe it could have been a hot fix I mean if they can hot fix this mission why can't they just hot fix patrol spawns I don't know uh, obviously it's more complicated than that but I'll leave it at that, guys. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Um, it feels like they're starting to come alive again after the PSN drama and trying to slow down and internally reorganize. You know, remember, they've got a new CEO now. Things are going to be a bit different. They've got to change the way they're making content. They've got to adapt. They've got to evolve. And hopefully, they survive. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. I've been Stylosa. You can follow me on everything, which is at Stylosa. And I'll catch you lovely lot on the next video. See you soon.